Bangladesh has to continuously invest in long-term infrastructure assets, which needs long-term funding. So multilateral development bank, like new development bank, can provide the long-term capital for their much-needed infrastructure projects. this economy is growing everybody outside Bangladesh say it's a it's an economy of miracle and it is continuously uh, growing even though there is a slowdown in other parts of this world Bangladesh is growing continuously seven percent growth is not not possible but for the efforts and proper policy of the government so we need to congratulate the government of Bangladesh for their forward-looking policies which is growth oriented and inclusive. So the growth is always welcome. Becoming a developed countries in 2041 is it's not an impossible target. It is achievable. Because Bangladesh is, is a huge economy. It's almost 160 million people. And the economy is growing as I told uh, earlier. And to achieve this target, Bangladesh has to continuously invest in long-term infrastructure assets, which needs long-term funding. So a multilateral development bank, like New Development Bank, can provide the long-term capital for their much-needed infrastructure projects, whether it may be in the water supply sector, road sector, or bridge sector, or renewable energy, or ports, airports, railways. So these are the modern infrastructure which is needed and which needs upgradation continuously because the population is growing, employee in the, in the, in the GDP is also growing. So Bangladesh has to step up its investment in infrastructure and here we can really step in. Private sector can be engaged in two ways. One is by providing debt to some of the important private sector which are involved in infrastructure development. It's a debt financing, which is normally every bank does it. And we can also do if the project is good, if the promoter is good, and if the risks are reasonable, and uh, we can definitely step in. But the best thing is to provide risk capital, long-term capital, that is equity. We can also provide equity to a limited extent. We can also provide equity through, if there is a private equity fund, we can participate in the fund and the fund also can, can invest in the equity. This is one way of helping. The second way of helping, this is a direct way of helping. The second way of helping is we can give a line of credit to an existing bank within Bangladesh and they will assess the risk of this promoter or private sector and along with them we can provide the loan. So the two ways we can provide, we can help the Bangladesh private sector. A NDP uh, has uh, no particular uh, priority, but as I told you earlier, we can provide finance to all the infrastructure sectors, which is uh, which is a road development, bridge development, port development, railways, water supply, and particularly, but very important is it should be climate resilient. We all know that Bangladesh is susceptible to climate change. So our project should be climate resilient and we will be very glad to provide finance to such kind of project. Zonal connectivity is one of the top priority of any multilateral development bank. You have uh, you have two important border. One is with India, another one is with, with, with Myanmar. We can provide uh, connectivity uh, uh, to to Indian connectivity roads which may connect India. We cannot enter into Myanmar because they are not our member country. But you know, connectivity is not just limited to roads. Connectivity is limited to digital connectivity. If there is an electricity transmission connectivity, if you can put a transmission line connecting India and Bhutan, if you can put, put up a digital connectivity, which will you, everything is unified. So we can look into that. If any private sector people come forward for digital connectivity, our government come forward for any any electricity connectivity or road connectivity, we can definitely look into that project. Uh, though the bank, the uh, new development bank is functioning for the last seven years, seven, eight years, we are just entering into Bangladesh. This is the first year we are entering. So we need to, we need to understand, study the economy, the people, the business, 
uh, uh, the business climate. So we need to study. So this may be one of the challenges. For this, we need a lot of people from Bangladesh to join our bank. So we need to recruit the appropriate manpower from Bangladesh and indict them into our bank. That will enlarge our knowledge base of Bangladesh. That will help us. Second, there, may, there should not be any policy constraint in lending to private sector. The policy should be pro public private partnership. The policy may be to promote long term uh, fund, maybe tax incentive, but it all depends upon the government. If, it, if the government comes out with a good policy, and then our work will be much more easier. Yes, we are already working on a big project, the water supply to Dhaka citizens, the Dhaka city is a 235 million we are planning to uh, lend. Uh, this is a big project. In addition to that, government of Bangladesh has uh, indicated four projects in the, uh, in the renewable energy sector and the bridge sector and the road sector and we will be happy to look into those projects and lend. We normally we want to lend at least one billion dollar a year. So this is a great initiative on the part of FBICC and government of Bangladesh. I congratulate all the organizers for a country like Bangladesh to organize a summit in such a big scale is really a challenge and they have succeeded in it. And it has brought many people together from different parts of the world. I hope in the days to come this will be a regular future and uh, many, uh, many more foreign investment can be attracted. Mm -hmm.